Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation testing series and this is our third tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn about ID and we will also learn to install the PyCharm. So let's begin. What is an ID? An ID is basically an integrated developer environment which is basically a software suite that consolidates basic tools required for the software development. Any ID can contain code editor, compiler, interpreter, debugger, build automation tools and version control system. We can also write our code in the notepad, but that wouldn't be as, you know, efficient. Now let's see if we are using the ID, how it can help us. So basically, IDs are efficient because it streamlines the code with the intelligent code completion. So if you write code on the notepad, you will not the intelligent code completion. Even it would highlight the syntax. It will give you real runtime error detection in the ID, but not in the notepad. Okay. So it will actually improve your productivity and then in order to manage the code because you will be when you are working on the project you have you will be working on the different files so it will be easier to maintain the code right and similarly it is very easy to integrate the version control system like git for the better collaboration and the code management so that's why we need to use the id instead of you know writing the code on a notepad and any other sort of uh, interpreter or maybe at any other word format right so now uh, let's see how we can install the, the pycharm basically so pycharm and first before that let me open the browser and show you what pycharm is so so basically uh, let me open the browser here and in the browser you need to search for pycharm so uh, PyCharm is basically an integrated development environment used for Python programming, right? So people are using this PyCharm in order to develop the Python programs. So uh, just go here and it is from the JetBrains and here you will see that the Python ID for the data science and web development, right? And here you will see some pricing because there are two different versions, one is full fledged for the professional and other is a free community right and in terms of you know working with the automation testing we can work with the free community edition just click on download here and here you don't need to click on this one because this is uh, the professional version you need to scroll down but before that here you will see that is available for the mac and linux as well so click on the windows uh, right now i'm using the windows to so scroll down here and here you see that we have this ID here for the Python development, purely for the Python development. And this is a community edition. And from here, just click on download and it will start downloading. In case if it doesn't start downloading, you need to click on this directly. This is already installed on my, uh, this is already downloaded on my system. So I will cancel this one and let me go to my download section here. So once it will be downloaded, you will see something like this so right click on this one and what you need to do is that run as a administrator okay you will see this pop up and click on yes and once you will click on yes it will start and just click on next then you need uh, some space in order to install the PyCharm. so space required is 1.7 gb so you need to ensure that you have that sufficient space in order to install this one okay now click on next and here uh, we need to add a path variable so click on this one and in order to create some associations just click on this one right and if you need a shortcut for this one click on this one but i think we don't need a shortcut at this moment just click on next then install and that will install the community edition on your system that, that's easy and once it will be installed, we will open this one and see the look interface of this PyCharm where we will be writing our Python scripts. So before uh, that, let me click on show details. So here you will see that the different files being extracted here and installing those files. Meanwhile, let me go back here to the website here and here just go to this features and click on this features here. And here you will see that the features provided. So Python provides everything you need out of the box to code faster and smarter. Whether you are an experienced developer or just starting your journey in the language, 
the JetBrains IDE for Python helps you to get your work done, right? So this Python for editing, database and SQL and support, Python profiler, testing, refactoring, debugging and lots more, right? And if you want to compare what is different between the community version and the professional one, just go here, click on pricing here and here you scroll down you, you will see this pricing stuff here and you will see that you can go for the individual the organization billing right for students teachers and community right so we are using this the open source for the students and the teachers and here you will see all the material here so for training courses coding schools and bootcamp this is free right just click on this one you will learn more about these free educational licenses from here and furthermore uh, if you go here you will see that lessons for the students and individual lessons for the crypto labs you get from here right and if i go here and let's go back here so you see that uh the pycham was very quick in terms of installation so right now uh once the solution will be completed it will ask you to restart the system right but i'm not doing it because i want to show you so just click on i want manually later and you can finish so pycharm is installed now simply just go to your search and type by charm right so pycharm community edition let's click on this one and it will open the ID for us. So it will take some time. Again, if it doesn't open, just type again by charm. Yeah, it is opening, so we do need to open this one. And this is a very simple look, and you see some MySQL scripts because I, when I uninstalled this one, I didn't removed my files but for you if you're start, starting for the first time you're installing for the first time you need will you see a blank screen here so basically here you will be writing your code and here is the project hack so this is a very simple look here and from here on the top we can actually select the file in order to run which file and we can debug from here and from here we have basically different projects here and from here we will do the version controlling and here if you click on this one so basically it will show the structure and furthermore if you click on this so basically this is used for committing the code from here you can run debug you can do this thing furthermore from here you can open a tablet so in order to execute some commands you can run the commands from here so this is a very basic you know introduction to the pycharm and we install the pycharm so in our upcoming uh, tutorials, we will start writing the code. We will learn the Python from the automation testing perspective. So in the next tutorial, we will start with the very basic programming with the Python. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.